in this class we will discuss about potential let's understand in this way let's assume i have a charge q1 and another charge q the q will experience a force which will be nothing but q now if i try to move this charge to any other point which is under the force of this you have to do some work right so what i'm saying is the force on this charge because of q1 is qe now if i want to move the charge for a some distance say dl then i have to apply a force now the already force on this charge is qe it means i have to apply a force opposite to that so let me say i'll apply it force is equal to minus qe in order to move the charge now i have to do the work to move the charge to a distance dl then the work done would be given by minus qe dl now we know that the total work done would be given by the integration of this q will be a constant now there has to be a points so this will be nothing but initial to final so this will give me a total work let's see that so the w would be equal to minus q initial point to final e dot dl now the work done per unit charge is equal to minus the work done per unit charge is called as potential difference let me call like this vab is equal to minus a to b e dot dl now there is something else called as this is the potential difference between the two points when you are trying to move a charge from a point to b point c is called as potential difference there is something else called as absolute potential when you are trying to find out the potential at any point which would be given by v is equal to k q by r now the absolute potential will be always a scalar quantity 